Monday, my sleeping eating family, and welcome back to Mailbag Monday. We have quite a bit of mail. I know I didn't do one last week. There wasn't as much that came in. I was waiting for some other letters. We got a few this week. We got some bone mailers in this week too, and I know I'm gonna have some more as well. I was hoping to finish a couple of vintage sets today, but I'm going to be a couple hard shorts, so I'm waiting on one more bone mailer to come in that will finish them. So you guys will get to see those next week, but you will get to see the cards that are almost going to finish a couple of them. So let's get into it. The first one being from Cassandra. And we also got some really cool trades for Twilight Masquerade as well. And this is one of them. I traded her, I think, two cards, and she traded me back the Palafin Full Art EX and the Wellspring Ogre Pond EX. I'm trying to remember what two cards they were. I think they were Deerling and a promo I traded to her. So, but that's cool. I got <laughs> a couple of cards uh, ready to put in the binder. Um, the Palafin, which I don't have, and I think the Wellspring Ogre Pond. I uh, may have a couple of now. Let's see. Uh, just because I think I traded for a couple of them at a time. But that's okay, we'll have some extras, it's all right. I don't mind trading for spares because I can always, again, trade them to other people who don't have them. And uh, <laughs> uh, also just have a couple extra in general. <laughs> Um, I think Mike have also pulled that one as well in the box that she got. But uh, let's see. Actually, we'll go to this one next. But thank you so much, the same thing for the trade. I uh, absolutely love those cards. We definitely needed them for the sets, and those are going into the binder. The Palafin for sure. <laughs> and uh, make sure on the Ogre Pond. All right, the next one is from OS OSC. And this was a giveaway win. Uh, and it is the Mega Rayquaza EX. And this was a just a small giveaway win, which I thought was super, super cool. I don't have this card. I actually think I got it for Kyle a long time ago. Long, long time ago. But it's cool. This is a really cool Rayquaza. Uh, my brother is a Rayquaza fan. But I know I got this card for him. Uh, I do enjoy Rayquaza. I do not have <laughs> a huge Rayquaza uh, uh, collection or anything like that, but that card is super, super cool. These old EX cards, I think this one from Roaring Skies, are really awesome to have, and especially that one. Uh, I just know if you see that one in Japanese, the other writing on it is actually in English, which I think is really cool that they flip flop the language on the front of the cards, so. I always want to see what it is in English, the attack, so I, I, I'll go look it up in Japanese to see what's on the front. But it's really cool. The, the Mega cards in the XY era were just awesome to have. I know there's a couple of different versions of Mega Rayquaza from Roaring Skies, and that's just, I think, one of the basic ones. But still awesome, awesome artwork. <laughs> uh, but thank you so much, OSC, for the giveaway. <laughs> Our next one we're gonna move right along to. Let's see, is this from Zombie? I know this one is also another trade. And you guys will actually see, like always, uh, <laughs> the Twitter handle be popped down below each time I uh, announce a new person that I'm getting mail from, just so you guys can go and check them out. <laughs> All right. And this trade has the Sun Flora and the Ogre Pond EX, the full art, the Cornerstone one. The Cornerstone mask people don't like too much. I, <laughs> uh, I don't use the Cornerstone one as much. I may actually swap to it now just to, uh, just to use that mask some. Um, Mudkip's favorite one is actually the Hearth Flame, the Hearth Flame uh, mask. Mine's the Wellspring Mask. I like using that one a lot. The Fire Mask is actually very good as well. Um, I have used that one quite a few, a uh, couple of times, but I feel like I should switch to the Cornerstone Mask for Poncho in my game, just to, you know, 
use it a little bit more. <laughs> Rock's not really a favorite typing, I guess, to use <laughs> for most people. And uh, it probably plays into it. But hey, you have Overpond's grass typing that can cover it as well. So I may swap to it just for a little bit. And then we have this really adorable sun flora, this beautiful artwork. I, my favorite flower is actually sunflowers, so haven't quite gotten a page of cards just yet. Uh, like I said, for Twilight Masquerade, we thought about doing the Eevees, but that one's kind of very, very expensive. <laughs> so we thought about doing either, there's a couple different choices. We thought about Sunflora being one of them, thought about Full Art Hassle. Um, we'll just have to see. We haven't really pulled too many doubles other of the illustrations other than Evie, which is kind of funny. So we'll have to keep opening more and see what we get. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's move on to the next one, which I need to stretch to get. There we go. This is from Mitchell. All right, and this one is actually waiting a bit for, uh, it isn't like a bubble mailer, but it's got like a stamp on it. So yeah, I was waiting on this one for a little bit. I am very glad it got to me. It is the Wiggly Tough from Jungle. Wiggly Tough Hollow from Jungle. I really, really like this. <laughs> it is one step closer to completing that uh, Jungle set. So I'm super excited. <laughs> The Wiggly Tough Hollow, I feel like it's one of the more common hollows you can pull out of Jungle. For some reason, I kept not finding it. <laughs> Though, <laughs> I think when people were opening up vintage boxes a lot that I saw during pandemic times, uh, Jungle was quite open quite a bit. I know Base Set was, and Fossil, and Team Rocket, and usually just all four of the main ones you get from the first generation era. But I would see a lot of Wiggly Tough Hollows get pulled. So it was just kind of weird to me. The ones I kept finding were either the non hollow, the base set two. Anytime I saw one from Juggle, it kind of got snagged pretty quick. So, but still, <clears throat> we get the Wiggly Tough Hollow. <laughs> Whew, I'm very glad that got to me. <laughs> I was getting a little worried on that one. It was taking a little bit longer than I thought. But. We got it, we can put it into the vintage binder and get one step closer to completing the jungle set. All right. <laughs> the next one is from Micros. I think this one's gonna be another trade. Yep, this one is in fact another trade. And, let's set that right there. It is another Wellspring Ogre Pot Mask. Uh, some of the people that I trade with are new, so if you guys have never seen these people down below, like the Twitter handles, it's because they're new, and, uh, and it's more of, in case they don't get to me, I will kind of trade for one or two of them, um, especially the Ogre Ponds, I just love them, so I don't mind trading for do doubles of these Ogre Ponds, I just love the Ogre Pond artwork. Especially the full art ones. Those are really, really nice. I know a lot of people like the full arts more than the SIRs, which I can see that. The textures on the SIRs make them look really, really good though. So we got another Wellspring Ogre Pond. <laughs> I honestly thought about doing an Ogre Pond page too, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, <laughs> uh, if we did, I probably would just do um, either pick one of them or do a row of each one. Not sure yet. I don't mind having duplicates of the Ogre Pond cards. Like I said, I really do love Ogre Pond. <laughs> and she is quickly becoming one of my favorite mythicals. <laughs> uh, she's just very adorable and a, a very powerful to me Pokemon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we will get into our next one. This one I've actually been holding on to for a couple of weeks. Just because this one got here pretty quick and I didn't have enough mail. I think the giveaway I was holding on for a little bit too as well. And we got a lot of vintage cards. So this one is 
from, I believe it's Ms. Adventure. Yeah, it's Ms. Adventure. So I did get the card in Ms. Adventure. <laughs> I have been holding on to them just so I could get more mail to show them off with. But they are a lot of cards from, I believe, Jim Hero. Is it Jim Hero? Yeah. Okay. So we got, we got, we have Brock's Mankey and Summer on the back too. Sabrina's Abra and Misty's Tentacool. That one is not the rare. Erica's Execute, Misty's Seal, Misty's Wrath, Misty's Staryu, Brock's Rhyhorn, Sabrina's Slowpoke, Brock's Geodude, Brock's Zubat. This one's not the rare. We actually ended up finding the rare though. Energy Flow, Brock's Training Method, Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu, Trash Exchange with that Zubat on there. And the trainer cards were always interesting because they had a definitely a different type of artwork or look to them. Almost like kind of a 3D early CGI effect over the these ones like Misty Seahorse, Brock Sandshrew, Blaine's Ponyta, and Brock's Onyx. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, the trainer cards always looked really interesting to me because they did that. Uh, Misty's Wrath wasn't like that. It was always like the, the items for the, the ones like the trash exchange or some of the stadiums. They always had this really odd effect to them. There's one with a wheezing on it that has like pixelation on it. it looks very odd too. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for the deal on those cards. It's gonna help a lot when I put all those in the Gym Heroes binder. Oh, I'm very excited. <laughs> We're going to branch it out a little bit, flesh that binder out a little bit more. It's just those cards, they're everywhere. You just gotta slowly get them. And I'm working on Team Rocket. Um, <laughs> uh, lately, I've been seeing a lot of Gym Hero, Gym Challenge cards. And while I'll grab a few of them, I'm really focused on the Team Rocket ones. I got about 15, 16 cards left. And that set will be done. And I just have like this hyper focus on it so we can actually finish out the first generation, the base generation of Pokemon. So <laughs> on to the next one. This one is from... Sometimes I remember if I look. This one is from Poke Vibes. So, Poke Vibes actually had a recent stack sale as well, so I should be getting another package from Poke Vibes too. Okay, we actually did a trade. Uh, traded some cards for some Twilight Masquerade cards. So, let's go through them. We got the Luminous Energy Gold, Sinestra. Uh, with that Twilight Masquerade logo. I want to find the Ogre Pond to this. I know it's got a GameStop logo on it. It wasn't released in the US though. So I want to find that Ogre Pond. I'm just a very big fan of Ogre Pond. Um, we got some extra cards as well. We got Dotsman, Fanfi, this really cool hollow foil Snorlax, which I actually think comes in one of those tins that you get from Walgreens. Parasect, Infernape, and Glaceon. Set those extras to the side. We also have Absol, one of my favorite Pokemon. Lucario, quite possibly my favorite Lucario artwork. This is actually the promo card that comes in Crown Zenith ETVs, um, if you guys aren't aware. <laughs> but this is quite possibly my favorite Lucario artwork. I opened up, a Mudkip and I both opened up a lot of Crown Zenith ETVs. <clears throat> Mudkip and I open up a lot of Crown Zenith ETBs, <laughs> more Mudkip than myself, and we have a ton of these cards. I'm so happy because I love that artwork. We got an Umbreon promo card, Buddy Buddy Poffin, and Enhanced Hammer. This was an awesome trait. I, because I know that card is exceptionally playable, so it is very, very pricey, and I was just very happy to trade for it is the, probably the most expensive gold out of the entire set. So, but I was very happy to trade for it. And then we got the enhanced hammer. 
And uh, there are, let's see, six golds in this set. Through this train, I got half of them, <laughs> uh, which is awesome. And then I think Mike get found, got a gold that we also needed in his box uh, that he, his box that he has. <laughs> And, uh, and yeah, it was really awesome. It, <laughs> so we're actually down to two golds, the two Pokemon golds, funny enough. So I'm hoping to pull those, but I'm just glad that we're getting down to two of them. At least it's tradable that way. All right, this next one is from Crimson Trainer. And this was a nice purchase as well. It's working on my Temporal Forces binder and he had one of the card, remaining cards I need. Down to two, Raging Bolt and Iron Boulder gold card. Raging Bolt, SIR, and gold Iron Boulder. Um, and this was the SIR of Iron Leaves. This, these SIRs they made for that set are just fantastic. They're so cool, so beautiful. The glitter effect is amazing. I just love all the SARs they did for this set uh, of the <laughs> of these legendary paradoxes. They're just all fantastic. And we have one left to get. <laughs> it's Raging Bolt. But I was very happy to get the Iron Leaves. Um, I don't think I've been able... Of the, of the paradoxes for the iron ones, the violet ones. I was never able to pull any of them. I only pulled the walking wake for the scarlet ones, but I, this doesn't mean I haven't pulled any SRs out of Temporal Forces. I pulled a couple, just they're harder to pull, <laughs> but really love that. And he had the other uh, sleeve has the last two remaining reverse hollows that he did. And it was awesome he had them as well. Um, I was very, I was very uh, glad he was able to send them to me. Uh, very gr appreciative, very grateful. Thank you, Chris the Trainer. Um, I don't have to go hunt them down with TCG player. I was just, I was very thankful he sent them to me. <laughs> they will go into the binder in their places. That way all the reverse hollows are done. And, uh, <laughs> uh, and our names will go in there as well. Okay, next one. We got two left. This one is from, I think it's Thespian. Yes, 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 yes. And we have another vintage card, which I think the Wiggly Tuff's a little bit buried. Yep. But the other one we have is the Hollow Snorlax from Jungle. I believe Snorlax is the most Mm, okay, not the most expensive. I forgot the evolutions are up there. It's definitely up there as one of the more expensive uh, hollows in jungle. Um, the evolutions, the Vaporeon, Flareon, and Jolteon also taking top spots as well. Uh, as far as price wise, I actually have to look it up, but I know it's up there. Uh, <laughs> Snorlax being a very favorite Pokemon. Of, uh, very uh, <laughs> popular Pokemon for a lot of people. And uh, I believe Snorlax's debut into Pokemon TCG was in Jungle. And really, really cool card. <laughs> uh, just, again, <laughs> it's really nice. It's one step closer to completing this set. And I wish the other package that contains some vintage cards got here, because I know we would be able to finish both Jungle and Fossil. But that's okay. We will. I will show off those binders next week when they are done, as I will, should get that package in this week. But really awesome Hollow Snorlax. I love it. <laughs> oh man, I believe that was the last like Hollow to pick up for Jungle, so I was very glad. As as hard as I found the Wiggly Tuff to find, Snorlax was even more difficult. And actually, it's a bit of a tease um, <laughs> for Mike, Kip, and I. We kept trying to find it, and we didn't either find the base set. I believe there's a base set two version. It might be non-hollow. We would find the non-hollow jungle version, or we would find the legendary collection version, which was a tease. Or then we would actually find um, the unlimited version of jungle, because we would also find first edition too. We didn't really care for the first edition. Or we would find the actual unlimited jungle one. We found one at shop that was when I went to visit my kid. Oh, but it was beat up. I mean, it had 
uh, the hollow underneath was showing on side on the sides because it was just so chipped away on the sides. It, it was it was beat up and it was it was a big tease. <laughs> it was right there in front and we couldn't finish it. We were looking for a little bit better condition card. All right, so we're down to the last one and this one is from Avanta series. And this one I say for very last for a reason. Um, <laughs> this card that Vanta has found for me is one of my grail cards. <laughs> one of the grail cards I had on a list of Umbreon's. I am um, my favorite Pokemon. If you guys don't already know, is in fact Umbreon. And uh, this beautiful Moonbreon here on the right that you guys can see. This was one of the Grail cards, for sure. <laughs> um, yes, <laughs> Mudkip was with me in getting that one, and of course, all the ones that are higher tier, just gold cards, Grail cards for Umbreon. This is probably the biggest one when I saw it. I'm like, this is the Umbreon card. I just absolutely want. There's no way you can find this one in English. They just never printed it in English. And if you guys get from that hint alone, you probably know which Umbreon it is. Um, one of the other Umbreons that my Kip was with me, actually when we got this one, was the also the vintage Umbreon from Neo Discovery. That also had the moon in it, the original Moonbreon. But just saying, there's quite a few Umbreons out there that I'm hunting. This is definitely one of them. <laughs> I honestly thought I would never own this card, um, or actually even see this card in person, only through Twitter or eBay listings. But I now own this card and it's just, it's definitely going in the background for a bit. I, it will. <laughs> it's probably gonna sit there in front of that Flareon for a while. But this one is the Karen's Umbreon from Vending Series. And like I said, this card is not printed in English. It Honestly, I don't think it will ever be printed in English, being that it's one from, let's see, what year do they have it on here? They do not have the year on here, but it is a first edition as well. Uh, first edition Vending Series card. You can even see the Vending Series logo is kind of sparkling as well. But this is a beautiful, beautiful hollow. I never knew this card existed until I think about a year ago <laughs> and I saw somebody had one and I was like, what? These vending series cards are amazing. It is a shame that they are not printed in English because they're awesome. Definitely all because it is an E-series one. So it's, like I said, it's never going to be printed in English unless just Pokemon decides to do something similar to the Mr. Mind that they printed in the Combined Powers but I don't see that happening. So this is an amazing, amazing card. And <laughs> after I knew it existed, I was like, this is like the perfect one to want to find. Cause it's not only Umbreon, it's sleeping Umbreon. <laughs> and it is just very perfect to just find on this channel. So, but I, I like I said, I never thought I'd own this card. It is a beautiful, beautiful card. I've been trying to go for some vending series cards, like ones here or there. And uh, <laughs> this was one, it was a big one. <laughs> so I'm very, very happy to own this card. Um, Mug Kip's very glad I uh, got this card too. I'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for some uh, cards that Mug Kip would like out of this vending series as well. I think I got a Dragonite for him but I do want to find one that's really, really cool for him as well. <laughs> but uh, yes, oh man, this one's awesome. I love it so much. And uh, it definitely is one of my favorite cards in my collection. Uh, <laughs> a lot of cards that are my favorites are also gifts from my kit, but this is definitely one of my favorites, so. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, um, more Umbreon sound in my collection is such a good one. <laughs> I can't wait to put that in an evolution binder because I am making an evolution binder and just got to find the one I really want to put all my evolution cards in. Um, but, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but thank you, Vanta, so much for finding this Umbreon for me. I, you have no idea how happy it makes me. <laughs> I can only express so much through, through text, 
through words. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed today's Mailbag Monday, hit that like button. And if you guys are not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Let's show that right there. <laughs> Uh, we're a little bit closer to finishing, like I said, both Fossil and Jungle. I'll probably be able to show off those completed binders, completed sets next week. Um, <laughs> and I should be getting some more trades. But uh, we're going to have more Twilight Masquerade on the channel. We're going to open up some new products that came out as well. Stay tuned for that. And as always, take care, sleep well, and good night.